Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna to be a little bit of a fun one. So I'm gonna do a little gapping session with you guys with my new set of clubs. If you didn't see my last video, I did a whole what's my bag with my new set of clubs. So I've got the King Tour irons, the Aerojet fairway woods, the Aerojet driver, and the snake bite wedges. And I haven't really had the chance to do a proper gapping session. So I'm gonna do that with you guys today. Yeah, we're just gonna have some fun test out the clubs, see what my distances are, and go from there. Okay, so we're just gonna go one by one through the bag, starting off with my 60 degree wedge. So I guess we'll do like five shots per club, I guess. That would be fair a fair assessment of yardages. All right, next up we're gonna go with the 56. All right, next up we've got the 52. And now keep in mind, when you're going through your stock yardages, these are like, these are approximate yardages, right? Like every day is gonna feel a little bit different. Um, so you can't take these yardages with an absolute because you're gonna be feeling different on different days. Maybe you're warmed up, maybe you're not. Maybe the conditions are different. So when you go through and find your stock yardages, those are just like guidelines, right? It just depends on the shot that you're trying to hit. When you think about it in terms of conditions, let's say I've got a 110 shot right now, but I've got wind in the face. Well, I'm not gonna take my stock 52 degree wedge, I'm probably gonna bump it up to like a pitching wedge or a nine iron. So that's how you wanna play around with your yardages based on your quote unquote stock yardages. Here with my wedges, there's a, a good variation in yardages because of the fact that you know, a wedge has such an open face, so if you glance at it a little bit, it takes a lot off. If you close it, it'll add some more. So you can really play around with wedges the most, I find. Next up, I've got my pitching wedge. And yes, I know. There's a big gap between the pitching wedge and my other wedges, but again, you can be pretty versatile with the pitching wedge. These are just full swings that I'm doing here. So, I mean, I love playing little knockdown pitching wedges. Those are really fun. And, um, you know, even I've done, you know, long chip swing pitching wedges. You can be really versatile with all your clubs. There's gonna be a discrepancy for sure between my wedges, my traditional wedges and my pitching wedge, but everything else should be fairly similar and well spaced out. Next up, we're gonna go with the nine iron. Next up, we're gonna go with eight. That one. Next up, seven iron. Oh, 
Okay, next up we have a five iron. Five and four iron are a little tricky for me. I'm not not that great with the long irons, especially not yet. Thank you, honey. I just, I mean, I got my clubs a week ago and I have only played one round this year, so I should probably give myself a little grace here. I literally didn't have irons for like a month and a half, so. So this year I have a seven wood and a five wood in the bag. The seven wood is just the regular Aerojet. Uh, my five wood is the LS. So we'll start with the seven wood. So five wood next. Last but not least, driver. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna do a bonus long drive head and long drive, sh well, not long drive head, just long drive shaft. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little video of my gapping session. I still definitely have a long way to go in terms of getting used to the clubs 100%. I'm very used to the driver, obviously. I've been using it for long drive for the whole season. Um, but getting used to the irons and the fairway woods is going to need some adjusting and getting used to. Uh, like I said, I've only played one round this year, which is <laughs> not great. And so I definitely need to give myself a little bit of grace in terms of, you know, feel and expectations. So we'll be playing a few rounds, actually a couple rounds this week. And yeah, maybe I'll do an on-course vlog coming up. Uh, a little Q&A, that kind of thing. So make sure to let me know down below what you'd like to see from me next. And I will see you in the next one.